Hello everyone and welcome to Physical Education Grade 7. And for our first lesson, we are going to talk about physical fitness. Life is much more enjoyable when we are physically fit. Physical fitness is important to one's life because it indicates that you have the ability to face situations or changes with ease. And physical education plays an important role in planning good exercises of individuals. Physical education is defined as an integral part of the general education designed to promote the desired level of fitness through participation in well-selected activities. And physical fitness as you can see here in the definition, so it means that physical fitness is the ability of the body to move or do a physical activity without getting tired easily for a reasonable period of time. And being fit and healthy is not only for athletes, but also for a non-athletes like you, student. Because every person has his or her own physical body to take care of. And in physical fitness, it is divided into two components. So there are two components of physical fitness. But physical fitness includes health and skill related components. So health related components, it is the ability to become and stay physically healthy as an individual. And skill related fitness enhances one's performance in athletic or sports event. So now let's focus on health-related fitness. So health-related component of physical fitness has one, two, three, four, five subcomponents. And these are muscular strength, cardiovascular endurance, muscular endurance, flexibility, and body composition. So first, let's go to muscular strength. So it is defined here that muscular strength is the ability of the muscles to exert maximal effort in brief duration. For so strength, it is the maximum maximal force that the muscle or our muscles can produce. Next, we go to cardiovascular endurance. So cardiovascular from the word cardio, it is the ability of the lungs and our heart and the blood vessels to deliver adequate amounts of oxygen to the cells to meet the demands of prolonged physical activity. So it is the ability of the body to circulate oxygen and blood to inhale and exhale for a long period of time during physical activities. And we have also muscular endurance. So it is defined as the maximum pull or push that can be exerted one time by a muscle group. So it is the ability of a person or a person's muscle to be used repeatedly without getting tired easily. And the next one we have is flexibility. So it is the range of motion of our joints or the ability of your joints to move freely. And last one in the health related fitness we have body composition so this refers to the proportion of lean body mass to fat body mass so it is used to describe the amount of fat and muscles in our body so those are the health related fitness now we proceed to skill related fitness so there are six subcomponents of skill related fitness which are agility balance coordination power reaction time and speed so let's go first focus on agility so it is defined that agility it is ability of an individual to quickly shift or change direction from the body from one point to another so in short, agility, it is the quickness of our body to change position. Now, we can see it most in most uh, athletes, they are very quick. They are, have the agility. They, they quickly move from one place to another. Another one is balance. So, balance is the ability to stay in equilibrium 
in relation to changes in body position. So, balance, it may be static or dynamic. So, static balance is the kind of balance demonstrated to stationary position. And dynamic balance is demonstrated while the body is moving. So, balance it is the ability of a person to stay in control of the body while still, while being still or moving. So, most example of balance is a gymnast you know, performing in a balance beam. Another, we have coordination. So, from the word coordination, it is the ability to move or to coordinate two or more body parts together. So, example of that is dribbling in football or in basketball. Use their hands and their foot to dribble the ball. So, they coordinate different body parts. So another one we have muscular power or power. So it is the ability to perform one maximum effort in the shortest possible time. So it is a product of both strength and speed. So it is used of strength in a short period of time. So one of the best example of that is boxing. When the boxer hit his or her opponent, no. So that exam that is an example of power. Another one we have is the reaction time. So reaction time it is the amount of time it takes to respond to a stimulus. And the last one we have speed. So we all know what is speed. It is the ability to perform task or move from one point to another in a shortest possible time. So one of the examples of that is racer or runner. So those are the six subcomponents of skill-related fitness. So as an individual or as a person, you may be an ordinary person or an athlete or a dancer, to achieve a physically fit body, discipline is essential. It's very, very essential. Uh, regular participation in vigorous workouts can do wonders in developing and maintaining a body fit to work, a body fit to enjoy recreational pursuits, a body fit to meet life's challenges. So your physical fitness level will help you determine the quality of your performance. And to determine your physical fitness level, you need to undergo physical fitness tests. So mostly, you know, especially in the starting of your school, you, know, you will undergo what we call the physical fitness test. Test. So the physical fitness test is a set of design to determine students' level of physical fitness. So for you to have an idea or a guide for you to do or how to do the physical fitness test, I will leave a link in the description box for you to be guided on how to perform these different types of physical fitness tests. So it is important also a reminder that before you start physical fitness assessment or do different types of physical activities, it's important that before you start, you have to as execute warm-up exercises. And after performing your physical fitness assessment, you will do cool-down exercises. So I will also leave links video links down below for you to watch for you to be guided on how you will do these types of exercises so once again it is very important now that we take physical fitness tests periodically so that you you cannot have diseases from sedentary lifestyle so you notice that, that every year every school year your physical fitness teacher or physical education teacher will going to let you perform these different types of physical fitness tests. Some of the examples are the BMI, you know, the sit-up, curl-ups. So these are um, physical fitness activities or physical fitness tests for you to perform in order for you to identify you know, what level of physical fitness are you. you know? So so again, 
a quick recap so physical fitness it involves two categories which are the health related and skill related components as referred to those physical attributes which enables you as a person to cope with the requirement of daily living such as cardiovascular endurance, stamina, muscular strength, muscular endurance, flexibility, and appropriate body mass index. And also, of course, skill-related components, which are the physical abilities that show potential for good performance in certain skills like running speed, agility, reaction time or quickness, and the balance and coordination. So that ends our topic all about physical fitness. Again, so thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to check out the links on the description box below for you to have an idea or for you to be guided on how to do these physical fitness tests and warm-up exercises and cool-down exercises. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something. Goodbye!